For those of you that have been following me for a while know that I don't have favorite paint colors. They don't exist. I'm not known to work exclusively with popular paint colors or trendy paint colors. What I'm really known for is creating a timeless classic ambiance for my online clients. And one of the questions that I ask them is, do you want to create a warm and inviting ambiance? Do you want it to be warm and cozy? Do you want it to be cool and modern? And the list goes on. It's about pairing the correct paint colors with your fixed elements, your interior decor, and being mindful of the different lighting that you have in different spaces in your home. And when you do this right, it's beautiful. So today's paint color is a really good example of a paint color that's not popular online. And it's called Benjamin Moore Cotton Balls. And for those of you that are looking for a light cream that's not too yellow, and it doesn't have any pink undertones or orange or gold undertones, then this could be the right paint color for your home. But there's some key details that you need to know about Benjamin Moore cotton balls before deciding if it's really gonna be the right paint color for your home. Today I'm gonna to show you the undertones of Benjamin Moore cotton balls by comparing it with other contrasting paint colors so that you can see the undertones yourself. And then I'm gonna compare it with some other cream paint colors so that you can see why this is not your typical cream paint color. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about why lighting will play a key role on how Benjamin Moore cotton balls could look like in your home. I'm gonna show you the undertone of Benjamin Moore cotton balls by comparing it with two contrasting paint colors. One of them is gonna be a true white, the other one is gonna be a green. And what I'm trying to do here is give you a different perspective about why this is considered a light cream. So watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Oxford White, which is considered a true white. Watch this. When you compare Oxford White with Benjamin Moore cotton balls, this is where you can see the yellow undertones of Benjamin Moore cotton balls. Now watch what happens when I compare it with Benjamin Moore Night Train, which is considered a green. Watch this. When you compare Night Train with Benjamin Moore cotton balls, this is where you're gonna see how cotton balls is a light cream. You see those soft yellow undertones in Benjamin Moore cotton balls. Now that you know that Benjamin Moore cotton balls has yellow undertones and is considered a light cream, it's just too creamy to be considered a warm off white. So what I wanna do is compare it with three different types of creams so that you can understand why I say cotton balls is a very light cream. So watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams aged white, which is considered a medium cream. Watch this. When you compare aged white with Benjamin Moore cotton balls, you can instantly see how aged white is really creamy in comparison to cotton balls. And notice how light cotton balls is in comparison to Sharon Williams aged white. Now watch what happens when I compare it to a light cream in Sharon Williams called Dover White. Watch this. When you compare Sharon Williams Dover White with Benjamin Moore cotton balls, you're gonna notice how Sharon Williams Dover White is still creamier than cotton balls. And you'll notice how cotton balls just looks like a super light cream. It's not as yellow or pronounced as Sharon Williams Dover White. Now watch what happens when I compare it with one of the lightest creams in Benjamin Moore called Mars Capone. Watch this. When you compare it with Benjamin Moore Mars Capone, again, you're gonna instantly tell how Cotton Balls is lighter than Benjamin Moore Mars Capone. Notice how Benjamin Moore Mars Capone is creamier than Benjamin Moore Cotton Balls. And you're also gonna notice how Cotton Balls, it just doesn't have that uh, pronounced yellow undertone that you see in Mars Compone. So this is what makes Benjamin Moore Cotton Balls a beautiful light cream. So what you need to know about Benjamin Moore Cotton Balls is that it's considered to be too creamy to be a warm off white. And it is a cream. And remember, all creams have yellow undertones. However, it's considered to be a light cream and it doesn't have any pink, it doesn't have any orange, it doesn't have any gold undertones. So you don't need to worry about that. But most importantly, I highly recommend you to get a sample of Benjamin Moore
more cotton balls. Compare it with your fixed elements. Compare it with your interior decor and move it around in different places in your home. See what it looks like in different type of lightings that you have in your home. The last thing I want you to do is to make a costly mistake. I want you to get this right the first time. For those of you that want to save time and you want to select the correct paint color that's going to pair with your fixed elements and your interior decor and go with the type of lighting that you have in your home, then I highly recommend you go to my website, check out my online packages. I can help you with either interior or exterior. And please read the reviews. I have over 500 reviews. See what clients have to say. I would love to help you. Next, I'm gonna talk about lighting. When it comes to lighting, Benjamin Moore Cotton Balls does a good job in both south-facing rooms and north-facing rooms. For example, in a south-facing room, it's gonna look like a really light cream, almost like a creamy warm off white. But in a north-facing room, Room, it's just going to look a little bit creamier. You're going to see a little bit more of a yellow undertone, and that's not a bad thing. And it's like I always say, for those of you out there that are trying to lighten up a north-facing room, or really just any space that doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting, I'll always say you can go lighter, but always go warmer. And if you pair cotton balls correctly with your fixed elements, it won't look dingy. It will look beautiful, not too creamy, not too yellow. If you found this video helpful, please put a like. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. And if you want to get in-depth reviews about paint colors that you can't find anywhere online, I highly recommend you to subscribe to this channel. I upload three new videos every week. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.